Hi there, today I'll be talking about master bathroom decorating ideas. I'm Erin Valencich, award-winning interior designer and furniture designer based in Los Angeles. I have worked on every type of renovation, bathroom from large and small, from quick fixes on a budget to multi-million dollar award-winning home. In this episode, I'm gonna show you our master bathroom decorating ideas and renovation plan that made this magazine-worthy design. I'll show you how the bathroom originally looked like this, then this, and finally to this. Click the link in the description to download the information regarding the materials, fixtures we used in this bathroom. This download is gonna help you create a similar look in your own bathroom, and you can use it to take notes as you watch along. Let's get to it. So for this master bathroom, when I was brought onto the job, the shower had already been renovated to be kind of more open to the room, and they put in this glass wall. We are now in the process of gutting this years later to make it match the rest of the room. The glass tile that was chosen is actually white, but by the time you install it, it looks green. And the glass, because it's not Starfire or low E to be truly, truly clear, is green as well, which makes the tile look even more green, so you end up with this light green shower, which was not the objective of the client when they started, but that's what they ended up with. So fast forward, I got brought onto the job. Uh, we worked on the space. We redid this master fireplace. And as I wrapped the stone from the front, I wrapped it all the way in here into the back of this wall as well. So that you again have one mass, one architectural moment of this material wrapping all the way into the ends so you don't see it stopping on a corner. And then I did the master vanity here. I continued the theme of the floating shelf that you have on the other side of the fireplace. Again, this is all open to the master, so you want to have one kind of continuous architectural feeling coming through. So we did a beautiful stone in a lighter tone that brought in a little bit of movement, also kind of picks up the texture and the concrete on the wallpaper across from it. And then a beautiful floating shelf below for towels and such. I really like these pendants. I think they're super cute. I love the half silvered bulb. And uh, we dropped those to be perfectly in lined in front of each mirror. And I think it turned out really nicely. Accessories and accents, because the theme of this house, all the accents are either a dark metal um, or bronze or brass or black, um, really no silver. Uh, we brought in the oil rub bronze faucets and then did really clean and crisp kind of charcoal gray accessories for the bathroom. So it's very tonal, uh, very masculine, um, dark elements mixed with the light, which gives you that nice contrast. And yes, the mirrors are brushed silver, but they actually play off this warm brown tile and they, they end up looking a little bit more um, warm and darker, kind of a nickel color than a bright, bright silver. So now it's time to gut this shower, thankfully and do some tile that doesn't feel so dated. Uh, this glass tile was really popular in the early 2000s and now is kind of like over. So what we're gonna do is something that's a lot more neutral, a lot more classic, timeless, you know, something like this or the, the stone that you see already on the vanity so that it just continues through. We're also playing with the idea of maybe opening up a much bigger window in the shower because this house has complete privacy. Down behind here is just canyons and, and oak trees. So you have this opportunity to have this almost indoor outdoor shower experience. And when you're in the rest of the bedroom, you look right through the glass out to the beautiful trees. So that's always really fun. So we're definitely gonna um, make this a little bit more neutral. Depending on what's going on with the floor, I would love to get rid of this dam and sink the shower down and sink the glass into the flooring material. Um, that would require us to do some work with the floor, so we'd have to pull up some of these tiles, sink that channel and the shower pan down into the floor, and then retile over the top. So we might not want to do that. Um, that's gonna be one of those game time decisions when the contractor gets here and we look at what the floor condition is and, and decide what we can really do. That would be my first choice. If not, then we'll do a really simple um, dam potentially with um, the stone of the shower and just let that wrap. So we have one material up over the dam, be the floor of the shower, and then go up the walls and go up the ceiling as well. Because this is a steam shower, we have to tile the ceiling. There's a lot of water condensation um, that stays up there and you wanna make sure that it's completely watertight so you don't have uh, mold issues and your paint getting all chipped and gross if you don't tile the ceiling. 
Uh, so that's something we have to think about in our material choice as well. If we did a slab on the wall, which is three quarters of an inch thick, you typically don't want to put that on a shower ceiling because it's very heavy and that becomes a lot more costly and difficult to um, execute. So we might need to look for a material that has a thinner profile um, that can go on the ceiling, more like the quarter inch or half inch max um, type material. So that's our plan for this shower. Now it's time to choose some materials. So considering that we have this stone vanity that we don't want to replace, it's going to be really important for me to be able to match my stone materials to it so that it looks consistent and we don't have to replace this entire countertop. We've got several different materials already in this bathroom. We've got this porcelain floor that looks like wood. We've got this beautiful kind of chocolate, leathery, honed marble on the fireplace that wraps all the way around into this bathroom. And then of course we have this beautiful marble on the vanity. So I have a selection of materials here that I'm going to lay out and start to um, decide which ones could be contenders based on primarily what looks good with the vanity because the tile that we're replacing comes right up next to it and you really see this as one big area. So let's take a look. So I've got a pile of whites here and then I brought in some other deeper tones. So I'm going to start by just laying them out on the stone and seeing instantly what is a no-go. Um, I think these definitely are kind of in the wrong color. They're a little bit like green. This stone that we have on the countertop has a lot of purple in it. So this one is kind of got a little bit of a purple tone to it and maybe isn't so bad. This one here I feel like definitely has too much yellowy green. Those just do not look pretty together. It may, this makes this look really green, I think. So that's out. That, depending on the light, could be an option. This here, the light really changes it. It also looks a bit green, so I think we're going to say no to that. That's pretty similar. It's got this nice kind of crystal-y element that seems to coordinate pretty closely with our existing stone. It could be even a piece of it. What is this called? Cherokee white marble. So that might be a good option. And then I brought something darker just to see as well, which kind of picks up our fireplace. It's a little blacker than our fireplace. Um, but I do kind of like that too, but it might look a little bit weird having this really dark shower that is more black and then this big brown blob over there. So it's probably not the best choice. This, I still think it looks weird on second, second go. So I'm going to scratch that one also. This looks pretty good. This has got a little bit of veining in here, which has a little bit of that purpley hue. This is called galaxy marble. So, so far, I think that's kind of the prettiest. It makes this stone, I think, look the best. That gets a little bit cloudy. Um, then we've got this, which is Avalon polished, also has a little crystal-y element, which this marble kind of picks up on. Let's see. Maybe too much of the same thing, but that could be an option. And then we've got some mosaic. So this is Calcutta which looks a little bit yellow, so I'm gonna say no. It would look pretty with the floor, so that's why I brought it, because the floors are very cream. So we're gonna be blending material that has to stay up here with this kind of purpley stone, if you will, purple gray, and then it has to go down to this creamish floor. Um, so there might just be better options besides Calicutta, because Calicutta is a little bit gold. Um, this, is also very nice. It's a slab though. It's going to be three quarters of an inch thick. So we're going to have to see if they have it in tile because we don't want to put slabs on the walls in this bathroom. I love this little um, Thassos mini mosaic in the rounds. I thought that was really cute and that could be a really nice floor for the bathroom or for the shower. And then we've got this Carrera mosaic, which it goes a little cloudy gray but it could also work because there's just so much color in this vanity. But I'm gonna say this is probably not my favorite, plus I'm kind of over that chevron. Um, one of these maybe. And then I'd probably get, I'll get a bigger piece of this to see what that looks like, but something in that family I feel like is what we're gonna end up with 
for the shower. So these are the ones that I think I'm considering the most. Next, I would line them up against the back wall, stand back and take a look at them from a distance to see which ones are looking the best. But those are probably our best options so far. And then we have this little sparkly guy that's a little bit more gray. And then that might be our floor. Let's take a look. So all of these look pretty good against the floor, except the one on the left. I think it looks just like splotchy and weird, and it makes the floor look really green and gross. And since we're not changing out the floor, this is a no-go. But any of those could still work. I think that this one looks the best. It's got a little bit of warmth to the white. This is almost like too white against the floor also and makes the floor look dirty and that's a little too bright. So both of those could work. I'm leaning towards that because I like the subtle tones here in the stone that pick up the floor and then we'll pick up a little bit of that in the marble vanity. But I think the next step would probably be to get a larger piece of all of these so we can see what's going on because sometimes you might get a little piece of this stone that looks great and then over here a couple inches up it could completely change color. This is going to be pretty consistent overall which would be a very safe bet. So these are our three leading contenders for the tile for the shower. Um, I'm going to get larger pieces of all of these to see what they look like on a bigger scale since we're going to have a lot of it in this space and think this could be really cute on the floor. Um, Mosaic tile is always great on the shower floor because there's more grout, so it's less slippery because there's more surface area of grout that can kind of grab your feet versus the polished stone, which can be a little bit slippery when wet. So I like that. And we'll take a look at these, and then we'll get someone in here to rip this thing apart and get it looking great. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you learned some useful tips and tricks for designing and decorating a master bathroom that will beautify your space. You can see this space on the cover of Modern Luxury Magazine. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified when a new episode comes out. You'll also want to check out my complete kitchen, bathroom, and interior renovation courses on my website, erinvdesign.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at erinvstyle. Thanks, see you next time.